Hello and welcome to episode number 91 of the Nintendo Jump Podcast Mini. We are just like the Nintendo Jump Podcast, about the same length, but uh, we have fewer first-party announcements. Uh, We are a weekly discussion (laughs) podcast created for Nintendo gamers by Nintendo gamers. It's March 26th. My name is Daryl, and today I am once again joined by Sergio, who actually came back. Sergio, how are you, man? Yes, I am back. You know, it is nice to get back to some of the usual things that a human being does. I'm eating again. I'm sleeping. <laughs> I even showered today. It felt pretty old school. But yeah, <laughs> nice to be back. I what? <laughs> oh, <okay>. Sergio, please <laughs> take care of yourself, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and today we are also joined by Rebecca Bexilla. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Uh, kind of in a bit of an Animal Crossing stupor myself. So it's kind of kind of nice. nice to be on uh, solid ground and not on my island for a while. <laughs> and you've already heard him. Uh, we are also joined by Kevin. How you doing, man? Oh, you know what? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm getting ready to abandon. I mean, take a break from my villagers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so I, I, I mean, you know, because I, I got to say, when you're one step from Eden, you're good to go. You know what I mean? Like, the game came out today, <laughs> and Sergio, I mean, I got to make a choice, man. I got to make a choice. No, I don't have to make a choice. Um, And it's really good. It. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh. like I've only I've played like a tiny bit, but if you're if you're thinking Mega Man Battle Network meets uh, Slay the Spire, you are on the right track. Oh hell yeah! Well, so I'm gonna take a break from my villagers. No, I'm gonna keep the balance. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm glad to hear that, Daryl, because uh, I'm I'm ready to play. Uh, I'm just I'm so I'm so stoked. Uh, but Daryl, how are you doing? I'm I'm doing okay. Um, I. Am just pretty much playing the same games I was uh, before, but I uh, so a lot of games went on sale recently, so I picked up a ton of uh, really really cheap <laughs> games, like one two dollar games, and they're really good. Um, so I'm I'm enjoying that. And then today, uh, with all of the announcements, and there were like four shadow drops today. Um, yeah, I picked up a couple, and I'm I'm very very happy with them. We'll talk about that, uh, but. First of all, uh, so obviously we uh, this this Nintendo Direct we've all been uh, hoping for was not announced this week. It just kind of came out this week. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, it actually came out earlier today, and it was packed with stuff. It was a great, uh, in my opinion, a great uh, little direct. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. First of all, um, I think it's important. Let's talk a little bit about Animal Crossing. So you guys have all been playing it. Uh, for almost exactly one week at this point. Um, tell us about it. I have not been playing it. Oh, man. Well, what can I tell you? It's been it's been surreal. It's been magical. It's been amazing. I, I had high expectations from this game, especially since the last Direct that they showed in February. Let me tell you, it has obliterated those expectations, and we're not even really playing the full game just yet because we're still unlocking things every day so this is amazing uh you know the sunday before the game came out i had what i would consider one of my most impactful video game experiences playing Ori and the will of the wisps fighting a boss and it was it was done in a really cool way very memorable boss fight very very memorable progression in that game sure Animal Crossing has made me completely forget about Ori too. Oh wow! This is just—it's amazing, amazing. Oh man, poor Mm. Yori. (laughs) 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 Oh. So I mean, I I gotta ask. I mean, this has obviously been your most hyped game for what three years, four years, (laughs) years at this point. At least four years, yeah. Uh, So I mean, I had a similar situation a long time ago with Smash Brothers Brawl, and we all know how that turned out. Um. (laughs) <laughs> I, this oh, this is man. exactly what you were hoping for like once you knew kind of what this direction is this is like you're like this is what animal crossing should be oh yes definitely this is i i can tell you this is the best animal crossing already and not only that but if there's anything missing well there are a lot of things missing from the previous ones but i can assure you i have I just know it. It's going to be through updates. And basically, they're just going to keep the game alive for many, many years, probably because they're going to take more years again to release the new one. So, you know, it's uh, Catch-22, but it's good. It should be good. It should be amazing. 
I mean, yeah, keep keep in mind, this is the Splatoon team. They're very yeah. good at keeping their games alive. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's really cool that this game came out now. Uh, I think we all kind of need it. We all, a lot of us are working from home or are on quarantine, self-isolation. We're spending time in a, a simulated life, really enjoying it, taking ourselves away from everything that's going on right now. And it's really fun. The online play is amazing. And I'm not an online player. So saying that actually means quite a lot. Um, mm. This game is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I, I can't get over it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, just the, the details too. The attention to detail has been phenomenal. I mean, just even little things like the way the trees sway or like the water or even like when your museum opens and it's like this huge like exhibit and it's just like how did they I I don't even know how they did it but even you know <laughs> just digging up fossils and then having them assessed and then having blathers just like blabber for like 55 minutes <laughs> <laughs> not really 55 minutes but it seems like 55 minutes of of just talking about you know every fossil and bugs that he hates i mean it's it's great and i i i sit down and i read the text and i listen to him just go on and it's just it's really soothing and even just planting trees you know eating a fruit digging out digging a tree off the ground putting it somewhere where you can place it i mean just there's just something about it i don't know i it, it and like what beck said this is definitely i mean there's not a more perfect game to come out than this like this is this is amazing um i I've been just trying to keep up with it every day, you know, talking to my my neighbors that come, like including my favorite one who just came to the island not too long ago, you know, Jeremiah, the <laughs> the bullfrog. He's, he's Oh, I cool. was hoping he was a bullfrog. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes. I mean I, I mean this is the first time I met Jeremiah. <laughs> and like I was like, wow, this guy's pretty cool, you know. He uh has a very, very particular way of doing his house. It's very old school, you know. Like a nice cabin sort of thing and he gave me a gift he gave me a, uh, what did he give me i think he gave me like an old-fashioned clock it was just i was like oh oh all right <laughs> guess i'm gonna use it <laughs> and then um you know my then the first villager i met well because the because you know when we start the game it comes with two villagers right rudy was my first one and i mean oh dude that's awesome yeah. i love him I, I do too <laughs> and this, this he's such a gym rat and and you know he, he, there's this one thing where we, we were talking about like sports and he's like oh so what do you think is a better sport to play you know basketball or baseball <laughs> and i'm like yeah totally base, baseball baseball <laughs> no, i'm just kidding <laughs> no i think you know i i picked the right one you know basketball and and, and it's just and Dang it, you stole my answer. Oh. And then, uh, man, and then, uh, yeah, I just, even visiting the islands too, like when you when you get the, the Nook Miles tickets and, you know, you go to the Mysterious Islands and you meet, you know, like Jeremiah the Bullfrog and other, and two other villagers and I don't want to spoil anymore, but yeah, it's just been great. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. It, I can't yeah, even. Yeah, and. Yeah, the game just exudes charm from every pore. It really does. <laughs> There's been so many times, yeah, so many times where I'm just sitting there like with an open mouth smile, almost tearing up. It's, <laughs> it's so freaking charming. And it's from the get-go too. As soon as you see Tom Nook, he's felted. He looks felted and, and textured. <laughs> and it's just, it's so cute. It's it's perfect. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Beck, whatever you do, don't tell Kevin about Bill. Uh, he's oh. not ready for Bill. I'm pretty sure they modeled uh, Bill after you, Kevin. I'm pretty sure they whoa. did. Whoa. Can I? I want to get that villager somehow. He's I want to meet him. <laughs> he's a little red duck, and he always talks about being a legend and <laughs> giving everything his all. And oh. he's, he's so cute. And he wears his little whoa. basketball jersey. And it says, "Stop, stop right there." Basketball jersey. <laughs> yeah, and, uh -huh. and it has uh, N D T O for Nintendo Ten on it. It's oh, awesome. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, 
Oh, I, I wish I had though. But no, no, no. My villagers are cool too. I mean, I, you know, I just. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I got villager envy over here. All uh, right. Um. <laughs> so I mean, it, obviously, you guys have been, uh, kind of going down. You're all north, um, north yes. hemisphere, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so you're kind of going down the same path of, of kind of unlocking things and, and getting set up. Are you happy with how your, um, I don't know if we want to call them villages or how just how your island is coming along right now? Like, what are you what are you planning? Like, a lot of this game is kind of like uh, landscape and interior design at work, right? So, yes. Um, are, you, are you happy with what you've done? What have you done so far? After seeing Sergio's Island, no, I'm not happy with mine. Absolutely <laughs> not. That Sergio's Island, Castaño, I believe, is that right? Yes. Is mm. unreal. It's so beautiful. He's got everything <laughs> planned out so well. I mean, it's like he's been drawing it these three years. <laughs> <laughs> he even has two plots of land where he gives out free stuff for people to come and just take and and you know the generous man that Sergio is you just can't help but feel like oh you know you he offers those things and then you just want to give like two times back you know it, it just feels and, and he even has a custom note you know when you um, read his bulletin board and he talks about like you know community and being together and I'm like man ah this is Sergio for sure man. You know what I mean? <laughs> this, this, this guy's okay you know and and just um there's what what Sergio represents as a person is definitely embedded into this island. Like it's just definitely, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It does. It exudes Sergio. It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's been really good. It's progressing every day. I'm kind of designing it as things go along. You're getting more villagers, so there's one more house to play somewhere, and then I kind of build around that the hardscape around that new house earlier today i think i had my biggest i don't want to say stroke of genius because it kind of came out as an accident <laughs> <laughs> i was building something and then i thought oh wait no this could be something else much better and i don't want to spoil it i want to show you guys when it's done it's it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing <laughs> 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 yeah, so um, I have not been playing Animal Crossing. I will. Uh, I I did warn you guys that um, I probably wouldn't be able to play Animal Crossing for the first couple weeks, and yep, so far that's confirmed. I've commandeered um, so... our copy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll I'll play it eventually, but that gives me time to play all these other games, which is awesome. Um, yeah. And and you know we'll we'll have some fun with those as well. But uh, I mean anything. So, Sergio, was there anything that you did not know about this game going in that has honestly surprised you, either either positive or negative? Like, anything um, just like, wow, this is really cool, and I didn't know it would be here? Well, I'll give you one positive, one negative, and I'll start with the negative because it's surprising, and I feel like it's a, uh, should we say a mistake? It's, it's, it's a bad thing. It's a bad choice, I would say. And I think you even are going to agree, even though you haven't played Animal Crossing games, because you pointed it out. For about the first seven days or so that you play, you only hear one song uh -huh. while you are outside. And Animal Crossing is known for its hourly music, even in the twilight hours of the day. And it's always different. It changes every hour. It changes if it's raining. It changes if it's snowing. But in this, in this game so far, it was only the same song. And honestly, I don't know why they did that. It, it doesn't kind of make sense. It kind of takes away from the magic of Animal Crossing. And then if you have been playing every day, today was finally the day when we got hourly music. And it's perfect. This is like 100% Animal Crossing finally. So I feel like that was uh, a bad choice on their part. But a positive that I was not expecting the villagers do so many things on their own. They, they, all of a sudden you see them exercising or just running around yes. for no reason. <laughs> and then you see, you see them singing even. They're singing. Yes. They're yeah. singing. It's like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. So they are, they are alive. They're alive. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. Like Rudy was like, I mean, he was, he was jogging. And then. And then he was like, wave, wave. And like, he, was, he said, wave. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> I just, yeah. Contain. 
uh, myself. So, but... Kevin, this is your first Animal Crossing game, right? It, it, yep, it, it really it is. It is my first All right, game. so the big question I have is, do you get it? Do you understand now? I, you know what? Given that I've only spent, I don't know, the the past six, seven days on it, I I can definitely see why this game is so, you know, why it deserves the praise that it gets. I, I mean, it's such a simple idea of, like, community and, you know, just, like, living the day-to-day -day life of, you know, like, whether it's planting, fishing, you know, collecting wood, upgrading, you know, decorating things that I would never have imagined decorating. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it it's, I, I get it. I, I, I get it. And, I mean, it's, now, uh, granted, I, as what Sergio has mentioned, you know, the we still have a long way to go with, with this game. But, I mean, my first impressions have been, I mean, I, I've been blown out of the water. I mean, it's, I, I've definitely put in at least, 30 35 hours at this point like wow so i i'm 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 a pretty hooked at this game and i'm trying my best not to like <laughs> not to just spend the whole day playing so uh but <laughs> you know what i mean i i think i've struck a good balance with it and it's just nice that you know you just just going through my day and talking to the villagers and and if i want to go to another island i can if i want to just chill in my island i i can and and think about like how i want to shape my island or um where i want to or how i want to plant i mean i think i spend more time planting and fishing than any other activity and so it's just oh nice yeah at one point i i wanted to be the very best fisher that ever was until i realized <laughs> that well there's still a oh lot you're more you're building a water team oh well, there you go <laughs> i'm building a water team and the museum has team is full of sea bass. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> C plus. No, but yeah, it's it's. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing too. The puns are so. I mean, they're. I, I you know, they can make it sound. <laughs> when you read it, it sounds really lame, but it's not. It, it just. Oh, I, it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, it is, and it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's like basking in that. I mean, this is. Uh, a studio that loves doing this kind of stuff and yeah. they're really funny my my only complaint from having watched the game a lot is that they come up every time you do something <laughs> yeah, yeah. like true. yeah that fish is a c plus i get it and i got it 500 <laughs> times ago too like come on yeah and then there's another one like you get was it the Oh, I think it was like a, the football fish, and then they mentioned soccer. I'm like, oh, all right, fine. I mean, <laughs> uh huh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and then I, I gotta say, and I, I think I talked about it before too, but my favorite, uh, so far, my favorite piece of music is when you're about to go to another island, and it goes like, ba ba ba, and I just get <laughs> so giddy. I don't even know, and just and and seeing. The really blue splash screen with the the bird, you know, flapping his wings, and I'm like, all right, I'm good to go. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say one thing, and again, all of mine is like casually observing. <laughs> um, but uh, this game is a freaking masterclass in sound design. Oh, uh, just totally. everything you do has a little like really pleasant sound with it. Like just I don't know, everything is just like really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. And and then you know Beck, I don't want to leave you hanging. Uh, you came, uh, so you you played uh, a long time, a, a little while at least in in New Leaf. Um, I've played three. This is my third. Okay. Animal Crossing. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Is this the awesome. best Animal Crossing? Oh, by far, <laughs> yes. Um, I think it brought along a lot of the great stuff that was in New Leaf, and I really did enjoy New Leaf. Um, but it's so much more expansive. And yeah, the music thing is a bit of a, a buzzkill right now. And I didn't get to start until Friday afternoon. Mm. So uh, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not to the point where the music opens up. I can't wait because I think that's going to be absolutely amazing for this game because it does seem a little one note. <laughs> Pardon the yeah, pun. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing too much Animal Crossing. But um. But yeah, I uh, this is definitely my favorite. I'm 
dunking tons of hours into this. I don't know if I'm quite on the level of Sergio, <laughs> but oh, probably I, pretty no, close. No, I can answer that for you. You're not close. Uh, You're not. No. No. He's, he's no. burning both ends of the candle. Oh, oh I bet. <laughs> no question. I mean, Sergio. When man. he asked what sleep was, I actually kind of believed him. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, before we go too far, um, obviously, Animal Crossing, we're going to keep talking about it. It will probably be a game of the month sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, so I don't, you know, we don't need to give a full review. I just wanted to check in. You guys all seem very happy with it and i will eventually play it so cool any anything you want to bring up any any like you know final thoughts on your first week on the island yeah well sort of a i don't want to say a pro tip but an, a nice tip uh that i don't think it's been mentioned a lot and it's it's very helpful when you are sending messages to other players or when you're typing letters to them or messages on the bulletin board, you can actually use a USB keyboard. If you can plug one into your Switch dock, it's it's a lot easier and faster to type that way. It's, oh. been, it's been awesome to do that. So just grab any USB keyboard. It should work. And oh my goodness, it's a game changer, <laughs> at least for, <laughs> wow. for messaging. <laughs> I'm doing that immediately. What a great wow. idea! Thanks for the tip, man. Yeah, I now I can. Yeah. And it also <laughs> works if you're posting things on Twitter. You can type it there as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, pro tip by pro player. You know, Sergio. <laughs> The first time I went to somebody's island, I went to Phoenix's island. Shout out to Phoenix. Um, and she was so nice to me because I had no idea what I was doing. And I was so slow with the L O L trying to talk to her. And it was it was such a nightmare, but she was so nice about it. You can it. also use the phone app for that, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Have y'all tried it yet? The phone app? Not yet, but I have okay. it. Yeah, I've tried it. Dude, I should totally try it while Beck is playing just to like see what I can come up with. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> or not. <laughs> it's just like me sending really <laughs> random messages. <laughs> but I, I got to say, though, and I mean, we, we mentioned her name, or Beck, you mentioned her name, Phoenix. I mean, shout out to Phoenix again because she made an awesome NJP design custom yes. shirt. And yeah, she, she took our logo and made it a shirt. Yeah, I was like, whoa, so cool. And I got giddy again. <laughs> it's like, it's it great. I mean. And on the back, it says NJP. I saw it when I was at our oh. island. Oh, wow. awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, double kudos. So for you. all of our other listeners, that's the level now. I want you to exceed <laughs> that level. Like, I want to see wallpaper. I want to see, like, bed sheets. Oh, I want to see bedding. all of your other villagers clothed in, N in NJP gear. You can make this happen. You can ha you can do it. I want to see a party of eight NJPers on a single island. Uh, well, I, I don't know. We'll post it on Twitter. So, <laughs> so yeah, there, there's your standard. Phoenix has set the bar. Okay? Boom. Okay. Nice. Oh, man. With that, I think we got to move on. And I think we got to <laughs> move on to uh, something that we've been waiting for forever, it feels like, over 200 days. And, and honestly, still counting, because this was... Um, they referred to this as a, a Nintendo Direct Mini. Um, so, I honestly, I think they did that just because they didn't want to show off like Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4. So, there was it was a little bit light on first-party stuff, but everything yeah. else about it felt like an actual Direct. Yeah, and it's not really a mini. I don't even consider. I mean, it was just like I know. Three, nine minutes of like chock full of great like things coming down the a pipeline. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, and just and and you know demos available, and I mean something with Legend of Heroes. I don't know. It's just been great. I mean, just yeah, <laughs> yeah. I okay. mean, and there's a demo out today. Yeah, like, it is. Yeah, <laughs> so. I'm I'm gonna go real quick. I'm gonna go around the room uh, on a scale from zero to fantastic. Uh, where where do you you know how do you rate this? Like, is every you guys happy with it? Yeah, I I was surprised by it. You kept saying this week to me that you thought that a direct was gonna come, and I kept rolling my eyes. I said Animal Crossing just came out. There's no way. There's no way. Everybody's busy. There's no way. And then they come out with this, and it, it was incredible. Mm. Like. You know me, I'm kind of skeptical about a lot of stuff, and I saw this uh, video 
Um, and there were several games that caught my interest and that, that was wonderful. Yeah, it was great. I, I agree for sure. I would go with fantastic indeed, especially because of the way they did it. You know, it just came out and it has a lot of great games that we didn't know about and some we knew about and now we have dates or more details. A lot of reveals, a lot of good stuff. Like you said, maybe just not the most AAA of Nintendo's games that we know are in the works. But other than that, we still got some first party available now games or even games coming out very soon. And yeah, fantastic. I loved it. I, I have to agree. I mean, fantastic is the right way to go about this one. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, just things like Xenoblade and Bravely Default 2. I, I mean, there's just, even. A underwater game like yes give me more of those like <laughs> you know i mean i know Do there's we? some well you know subnautica on the other platforms i heard it's pretty good but you know what i think the one that they showed today might i might have to place it above that just because you know it's on the switch and i mean it just looks good i i think and oh gosh and there's something for everybody, right? And they even brought back arms. Like, how cool is that? Uh, I mean, you know, and, uh, you know, f for someone like me who uh, made a terrible decision of trading the arms for uh, that that one Pokemon tournament game, I think it's a good <laughs> time to get back to the arms and, and have fun with it again. And so... And it's, it's a... Yeah, it's now free. It's uh, free. For, yeah. like, a little over a week. And... Uh, also, in the meantime, while it is free, they're doing an online tournament for ARMS, and you can win $25 in eShop credit. I mean, that's just awesome. That like, is that's just, really cool. It, it just it works out. Also, by the way, the next Smash Fighter is going to be a character from ARMS. So yes. all of a sudden, that game's getting a lot of love. Um, which <laughs> I, I saw, I, I heard and saw some uh, skepticism on that because, you know, ARMS was kind of a... You know, kind of a come and go. He got <laughs> eaten alive by Splatoon uh, about a month after it released and such. But I think the overall feeling there was that that game deserved more than it got. And now, you know, it's a little late <laughs> now. But um, for it to actually get some attention, I mean, I'm I'm on board. Man, it's been when it when the Smash character comes out, it's gonna be three years of arms it doesn't feel that long it right like like you said i feel like we we overlooked it a lot of us just completely switch over to splatoon 2 but mm -hmm. there was a lot of arms there, lot, there was a lot there in arms <laughs> and i have very fond memories of it i think the correct form would be there were a lot of arms but yeah whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you slide on that. Uh, uh, it's really interesting for me to hear you guys say that because I didn't play ARMS and as soon as I saw it, I kind of thought, eh, okay, <laughs> that's kind of weird. I don't I don't understand it. Um, nobody's playing that anymore, um, but everybody seems really excited about it. So I think that's Nintendo really reading the room and saying, hey, I think our audience would like this. And then they went with mm. it. That's cool to me. Maybe it doesn't work for me, but that's all right. If it works for most people, awesome. Well, the last example I can give of this is, uh, so the Smash Brothers on Wii U, um, so Smash 4 or whatever, uh, did not have uh, any characters from Splatoon in it because Splatoon released too late um, and then instantly became like this huge worldwide success. I was always kind of expecting like Inkling to make it into Smash. Mm. Um, I had to wait a whole new game <laughs> for <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Um, and, and when they showed up, were we all happy? Yeah, absolutely. You know, anytime, anytime a new Nintendo IP gets into Smash, I think that's a good thing. And, and I'm always going to think that's a good thing. Bring on Monty Mole. Let's do it. Um, Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> from, I, I think his name is, he may not be named Monty, but anyways, for the guy from Mole Mania, uh, yes. whatever. I don't care. Bring on Excite Biker. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Nintendo characters are hype and, uh, to see a, a one that could actually have a really cool move set could attack you from across the stage because okay, um, sure you know and and they you know they did not announce who it is um, so we're left to a couple months of you know, speculation but uh, I'm 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 excited for it. Um, By the way, the 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 mole's name is Muddy and. I okay. love that you're referencing. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. That's just for you. Um, okay, so I think. Uh, at this point, 
what we typically tend to do with directs, and I, I don't see a reason to change it, let's just call out some games that we saw that we, we thought were good, and we don't need to go as, as real quick about them as we did with Indie World, um, because these games are actually kind of meaty. So, you know, uh, Kevin, what was something that you saw that you're like, man, that's cool? You, you know what? I I gotta say, Bravely Default 2, I, I wouldn't have have said that my man I, yeah oh, thanks <laughs> I, you know and I, I i had to i watched it a few more times and i really like the way they do the the bravely point system where you can attack consecutive like um, mm-hmm. I, I think that's a great way to go it's it, it, it it's a very i like that nuance of, of strategy there because you know it, it's it adds more to it, it adds more depth to battling the battle sequences and also if you, you know brave you you have the bravely mode and or in the default mode where you can guard and I, I i like it and even the voice acting oh gosh like elvis man i'm a sucker for scottish accents i don't know i just think it's great same yeah. same and i don't know who <laughs> shout out to you dr fag shout out to you dr <laughs> fag you know my my favorite scottish our favorite i'm Scott. giving you a thumbs up right now over That's the right. internet our favorite Scottish person, but if my second favorite Scottish person, Craig Ferguson, if he is the voice actor for that, I would totally lose it. But I don't think it's Craig Ferguson because it's got no, be, no, but <laughs> no. that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I talked about, geez, I, a few months ago, um, I talked about how I thought Bravely Default had the best battle system in any RPG I'd ever played. Mm-hmm. That's why. Uh, it, that gets so deep and there's like um, it's a game where like buffs and debuffs actually work really well uh, so you can mm. really stack your party with secondary jobs and such so everybody has like multiple roles they can fill and all the stuff kind of works together and you're doing this well if I defend then I get another battle point next turn yes. or I can burn them all right now and do like the super attack while they're weak or I can defend while they're getting ready to attack me with their super attack it's awesome like just so well thought out and so well implemented that um, I'm glad you kind of picked up on that because yeah, it's it's really phenomenal. Yeah. Have you played um, the the old Bravely games? I have not, and so I'm. Oh, dude, in... you're in for a treat. Yeah, and you know what? When I when I saw that there's a demo available, I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> I just immediately downloaded <laughs> it, and I was like, yeah, I, I'm I'm lock and loaded. And you know, when it comes to RPGs, as as Daryl mentioned, you know the Bad the battle sequences, it, it's a very important part of of any RPG. And just by looking at what they're doing right now with this, I, I'm 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 bought in. You know, I'm I'm gonna pre-order this game like like after we record. I mean, I'm 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 good. I I don't even know when it's coming out this year, but when it when it does, I'm gonna you know uh, take a, a a small break from my villagers. And, and hop on to Bravely Default. <laughs> so that's my plan. By the time it comes out, your villagers are going to be like looking around at each other like, hey, have you seen Wave in a while? No? <laughs> like, oh, where's where the huh. guy? <laughs> yeah, he's he's probably, you know, in, what is it? Is it called Excellent? I, I, I was, is that the is that the world? Excellent? Uh, Bravely Default, right? With oh, I, I didn't even catch that. I don't yeah. know. Something like that. That yeah. sounds like them. <laughs> because when I, when, I first, when I first heard that, I was like, oh, like the word X, like no, it's spelled differently. It's E X C I L L A N T. I'm like, okay, well, uh, that's that... extremely bravely default. I, I, yeah, they just they kind of do that kind of thing, and it's just like okay. Uh, but yeah, no, that is one of my one of my very most hyped games this year, and I I cannot wait for it. Um, so with that, I, I think Beck, you're you're looking into that too. But what else stood out to you? Unless you want to talk about bravely default again. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, actually, I am excited about Bravely Default because before I started playing Animal Crossing, I was playing Bravely Default on the 3DS. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so Ooh. I'm getting into that lore a little bit. I loved Octopath, so starting that is is interesting. Uh, but Xenoblade, I mean, nice. you, yes. I'm so excited about it. Um, I've never played a Xenoblade game. Uh, as soon as I saw it, I said, hey, that kind of reminds me of a little game that I really kind of love called Breath of the Wild. <laughs> and Daryl mentioned that um, the design is the same Yeah, so Monolith, Monolith Soft, I can speak, mm. um, was responsible for a lot of the design of the world in Breath of the Wild because turns out they're really good at it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all the Xenoblade games have that. And it's just, 
in this game in particular, you're on these two uh, titans. So you're like you're going on them as your world, kind of. So you keep seeing like different parts of them, like you'll wind up on their shoulder, or you know, I'm at the knee of the Bionis. You know, it's, it's just it's interesting. <laughs> like it's something you don't really see anywhere else. Uh, not not quite to this level. Um, but I mean, so you haven't played Xenoblade, um, uh, so you no. watched that trailer. Um, you know, what do you think other than man, this world is cool? Well, it's stunning. Um, and I like the fact that there's a little bit of um differences in the characters. That's something that I like in Fire Emblem and Octopath. I, I really like having a a set of characters that all have different personalities, so that seemed really intriguing to me as well. Um, it seems very open and kind of fly by the seat of your pants and do what you want to do and I like that kind of thing um so yeah it just it was a very well done trailer I've seen Xenoblade in the past and thought hey that looks pretty cool and I've heard that it doesn't look that great on some of the other systems so I think on the switch it's going to be really wonderful yeah and I I have to agree I mean just like, as, and they even talked about how they, you know, they refreshed the UI and they made things a lot easier to read. And I'm like, okay, thank God. Yeah. By the way, because <laughs> when I hear it, I'm like, is it was it really like that bad? In the original version, like in terms yeah. of like, well, so a lot of the UI stuff was like okay. le- legitimately, and they fixed a lot of that stuff in uh, Xenoblade Two actually. So mm-hmm. on Switch. Um, I'm hoping that they've brought over some of the mechanics from the battle system too, which are really good. Um, so I have a, I have kind of a speckled history with uh, Xenoblade. First of all, I love Xenoblade X and Xenoblade 2. So I like the the design of these games. Xenoblade Chronicles 1, I've started something like three times. So I started it, I think, twice on Wii and then once on 3DS. And I'll get like 15 hours into it, and I'll drop it, get bored, whatever, move on, and mm. not go back to it. Mm. Um, and a lot of that, I think, is because it is kind of, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> like for one, um, <laughs> it's like this big, expansive, awesome world on Wii. Like you know, just think of how that looks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, that's that's you're thinking right right now. If you're thinking like, <laughs> is that? a tree <laughs> you know like <laughs> I, I don't know um so the fact that it's actually getting the facelift that it is um the other two games look phenomenal um and also some of the systems and such just didn't work that well so i think you know put it back in the blender a little bit but leave the same world and story which were really good and characters which were really good um yeah i think this is gonna be this is gonna be really really cool and you've also played me some of the music oh, which is some of the best in the business unreal yeah. yes yeah the title screen theme is just like, oh man. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, Xenoblade. I I can't wait for <laughs> two gigantic RPGs this year. <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Sergio, what do you have, man? Oh man, so there's there was this part probably like around the middle of the direct when they kind of said, oh, you know, a couple of uh nice or popular board games around the world are coming to switch and i was thinking oh okay cool little little uh probably like a mini game comp- compilation type thing um wait could it be clubhouse games oh my god it is <laughs> and it was oh i love that game so back in the ds days this was around 2007 my uh, my plug for the game was a single quote and i would say if everyone in the world had a ds in a copy of this game the world would be a better place. And and I stood by that. I stand by that. And I would just say the same for the Switch version. Uh, basically, it's a compilation of a lot of board games, card games, little like tabletop games. And they just work so well. If Nintendo does it right and they do it like it was in the DS, the presentation was clean, simple. Everything worked very intuitively. It was very nice to play. It was, you know, quick pick up and play type of games even online local multiplayer it's going to be the same as switch you don't have to have it's not like everyone has to have a copy of the game there's going to be a supplemental download so only one person needs the game or you can play most of the games online it's going to be amazing i know it's not your typical big franchise multiplayer game like mario party mario kart splatoon but let me tell you if if people get into it 
these games are a lot of fun. And like I said, they're very quick. You can decide to play something else right away and just change it up. It's a lot of fun. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be out in June. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I personally have not played the Cold Palace games, but it, it looked really impressive. And there is actually one game that I'm going to play uh, out of all the 51. I mean, I'm talking about Richi Mahjong, the Japanese for Mahjong. And for those who don't know... Oh. I'm a huge, huge fan of playing Mahjong in general. Uh, I used to play a lot back in college with some my college friends. We were playing until like five in the morning. Uh, I mean, just like oh wow, yeah, we got we got pretty competitive, <laughs> you know. And I, you know, I learned the ways. I learned the ways of you know the uh, there's like the Cantonese style which we play, and then uh, with my family we play the Taiwanese style. Um, there's a little, there's some differences in between both, and then the Japanese style I heard is pretty hard to learn, so. I'm pretty interested in seeing how the rules are, and I mean, I, 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 I can probably lose myself into just playing mahjong for so many hours. But I think it's great that there's there's even like toy baseball and toy tennis, and is there a toy basketball? I don't know. But if there is, great. <laughs> if not, there should be. But no, I'm. I, I think it's great, and just um, I, I sign me up. I, I want to. I want this in my collection. Hell yeah! Like, I, it, it's just it. I, I, it does look very, very clean, like just the way they have the game set up. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait for it. That's cool. I did not play it on DS, uh, and this feels like a game that you could make a tournament around. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna leave that at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for for me, so um, probably the. Actually, the funniest, uh, funnest um, thing that got announced today, it, we already kind of knew about it, but um, <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Knight 3 Jedi Academy uh, Shadow dropped on Switch, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, <laughs> it's $20. It's uh, If you are just in the mood for... You, you guys remember those, like... Uh, some some third person, some first person, um, multiplayer battle style video games on, on like the PS2, GameCube, Xbox era. <laughs> like just just in that you know, you remember like Halo land, land parties and all the games that are were around that time. Right. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. This was my favorite of those. Uh, oh. And I did not play Academy originally. I played Jedi Outcast on GameCube. Um, just with whoever would play it with me. Um, <laughs> and, you know, it was just, it. there's something, like, really simple fun about it. I still, to this day, think it's the best lightsaber game ever made. Um, it's just, like, third person most of the time, and you're, you get, this game is fully online with up to 16, peoples at a, 16 people at a time. Um, and you, like, jump into the game, and there's just a bunch of people running around slashing lightsabers at each other. It's really funny to watch. It's really fun to play. It's um, I, I played it for a couple hours tonight, um, just wanting to like test it out. And I was like, no, I'm gonna keep playing. This is great. <laughs> it's fantastic. You can do like um, the double edge lightsaber. So I've been playing like Darth Maul, um, except Ooh. I'm a stormtrooper with a purple lightsaber. So hey, why not? You know, it's just <laughs> it's so wrong. It's, it's just so it wrong. It looks funny. It's great. You can make your own character um, from a bunch of different races and such. So um, oh. I'm, I'm not going to say which race I picked because I don't know what they're called and somebody will smack me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it my, my, my lady is blue. So there you go. It's just nice. really cool. <laughs> it's just I, I love it. I think it's awesome. a really cool game. Yeah. I mean, I, I got a question about that, though. So when you're engaging in battle with another player, um, is there, do you have like HP or how does it work? Like when you get hit or yeah, like... so it, it is very much in those old like James Bond style. Like you have health and you have shield. Okay, got it. Yeah, that's... and as those deplete, and you can use like a lot of different force powers. One of them is a you know you can you can get away and heal yourself. One of them you can drain health from somebody. You've got lightning fingers. You've got uh, like you've got the choke grips and all sorts of I mean, like. It's, if you like Star Wars, man, this game is good. <laughs> like... Man. That that's cool. Yeah, I know you've been really hyped for that. Uh, it's yeah. I, I mean, just watching some of the footage, like it, it looks pretty impressive. I, I mean, a lot of like, doo, doo, <laughs> like whoa. It doesn't <laughs> look <laughs> impressive at all. <laughs> like just setting expectations, it it looks like a PS2 GameCube era game. Um, 
that's okay you know it's not it's not terrible but it's not you know set your expectations please no. yeah direct quote from daryl this morning that game looks like trash <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does but it plays all awesome. of them so for a little while i was a stormtrooper with two lightsabers one in each hand just whacking people i, I don't know it's great it's great that's all i'm gonna say um so i think that brings us all the way back to kevin what else stood out for you man man uh gosh there okay there is one more you know i really really liked um well pokemon no well that's already already like that That was a nice update yeah the the one more thing was pokemon update which i was like oh god yeah no but (laughs) that was kind of the worst part of the direct for me but whatever um I do want to – well, before I get into that, I do think it's great to hear that Star Wars Episode Star Wars Episode 1 Racer is coming on the Switch. And I did yeah. play it oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a long time ago at a friend's house back in the day. And I was like, man, this is like the closest thing to F-Zero, but not really. But it's nice. But I like it. It's and a good game, though. Yeah, it, it is. And then um, – there's that, you know what? I, I mentioned it earlier, the underwater game, you know, Shin Sakai Into the Depths. I mean, mm-hmm. looked pretty good. Uh, I I think that, you know, it, it's, it, yeah, I, I really like the whole underwater thing and, you know, being able to, you know, dive deep, deep into, you know, the, the, the depths of the oceans and, like, collect stuff. And is it, it feels like kind of a, I don't know. I I've never really played uh, an underwater game before, other than a demo from Abzu, which is I think on PS4. But uh, other than that, like I, I don't know. I, I and I heard it it actually came out on a different platform uh, last year. So it, it's cool that it's coming on Switch and it's out today. So pretty awesome. Yeah, made by Capcom. So I mean that's oh, legit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, this nice. game looked terrifying to me. And I don't, I don't even know how to explain that, but I was watching that going, oh, oh God, no, oh, oh no. <laughs> I like the idea, but um, I have trypophobia. Oh. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, um, don't Google it. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's generalized as a fear of holes. And this game is a trypophobic nightmare. Like, I like the idea, but looking at it, nah, I can't. <laughs> I'm out. Can't do it. No. Well, yeah. Well, now that you mention it, 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 it's yeah. There's quite a number. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to ruin oh, no. it. No, I'm not getting anywhere. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just, just don't, just don't think about it. Everything's great. Go back, go back to your island, rock back and forth. There you'll be you fine. Back, don't talk to Rudy. Village, back to my villagers. Exactly. <laughs> that game dropped today, though, so that was kind of cool to see. Mm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so. Uh, now, now that we've ruined uh, Shin Sky, <laughs> <laughs> great. I guess Beck, I what else do you have? Me too. Uh, good job. Looked really intriguing yeah. to me. Ooh, let's go on. Uh, uh, I thought it was hilarious. I really liked the simple design of it. Um, it looked like kind of fodder for the people that really like Overcooked. Um, it just, it was a really cool office set game you're working in your father's company and you get to decide exactly where you want to work so you could be mopping floors or doing retail all kinds of things and you can either do things the way that they're intended to be done or you can kind of go off the wall and do it however you want so I think that is really intriguing I'm kind of a by the book kind of girl so I think this would be a great game to kind of go outside my comfort zone oh nice Mm. Yeah, so if you, in case you missed it, that game is uh, developed by Nintendo. Like that was a first party announcement, guys. <laughs> like, yeah, um, yep. and and Nintendo's on this weird like um, zany physics based smaller like almost indie games by Nintendo, um, almost modeled after like the Dreamcast era. So they they released the Stretchers, uh, which is you know one of those, and then this one looked like really funny. Like I was, we were both cracking up at that video. Like <laughs> we were, yeah. It looks great. Like one, they show the guy like carefully moving the projector to the other room, and then this other guy just like uses the cord going across the room <laughs> as a freaking bow string and just launches. The thing. Yeah, okay, I, I'm on board. Actually, um, 
Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm buying that tonight. That yeah, <laughs> that, that that that's gonna be mine. Awesome, 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 yeah, awesome. Yeah, there you go. So, there there you go. Um, yeah, that looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sergio. Well, there were also a a bunch of little updates for either games that are already out or that are actually that are all out by now. Uh, the first one being Animal Crossing. They showed a little bit of the Bunny Day event that's coming out in very early April. They also announced um, Earth Day event coming out later in the month. So we're already seeing the signs of what's to come, and it's, it's amazing <laughs> already. <laughs> they also showed more about the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion pass, uh, training with Cup Fu. It looks, it looks nice. Uh, they announced that for the end of June at the latest, so that, that's, that's good. And honestly, almost most unexpected for me, but I'm very intrigued. I actually want to pick up this game now. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure is getting a, lo- a lot of cool little yeah, updates. Yeah, that was cool. The yeah. biggest mm-hmm. one for me, it's uh, like a rhythm minigame they're adding. Um, it even has music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon. Uh, they might have made a mistake. They said uh, it has music from uh, Breath of the Wild. If I recall correctly, that game doesn't have any music. <laughs> you don't recall correctly, Sergio. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> it has a lot of really good music. It's just kind of like hidden. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, there there is the... When you go to a shrine... You ever um? <laughs> There's a lot of music in, in in Smash. You ever listen to the environmental noises on the Pikmin stage? Yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but that's a good that's a good pull. I mean, Ring Fit Adventure. One of my friends has it here, and like he and his wife have been loving it. Like it, it's pretty much their main form of exercise, and like it, yeah, it's quite a bit. I I I might get it too, especially you know being in. Uh, the situation that we are in right now with you know social distancing, and social quarantine. <laughs> yeah, good luck finding it, man. Um, yeah, it's yeah. sold out. It's, it's it, sold what? Out literally everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Well, for that's, months. Well, that's yeah. all right. Well, that's over. Uh, so first... <laughs> I want it too, though. I do want that why, game. Man, why do we keep ruining Kevin's dreams? I'm sorry, man. Man, I'm not trying first, to. <laughs> first Shin Sakai, now Ring Fit. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, you can tell me how Shin Sakai is. Just don't make me watch well, it. Well, you know. <laughs> Oh, okay, but now I'm gonna think about the holes, and I don't, I don't know. No, don't think about the holes; they don't exist. Well, I, it's only in I, your I mind. I have one fear of of the ocean, you know. It, uh, so there's there's things that come out of the ocean where if you go into, <laughs> I don't know what they call it, but it's just these like these little creatures like they they hide in the sand. It's like they're part of the environment, right? And then they just come out and just like you know like wow, just like <laughs> episode ninety one, <laughs> the nightmare episode. <laughs> And and like I've seen it in like documentaries, and I don't know what it's called, but like it's some sort of like embedded sand flounder thing. Like it comes, like you know, <laughs> I should I probably shouldn't get into detail because of um Beck's uh uh fear, but it I'm just, not gonna get into it. Detail. Uh, <laughs> it's it's it, but it, 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 it scares the crap out of me. So, hey guys, I'm... you ever seen banana spiders? And no, I'm kidding. Like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> um. Okay. Well. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, so I have, I have this. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> I, <laughs> I have this, uh, this saying that I, I use for the ocean, and it's just like everything in the ocean is better at being in the ocean than we are. So no thanks. Nope. I'm uh. good. I'm all right. So. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. So for me, the next one I was actually like legitimately interested in was this game called Ninjala. Um, which kind of like everybody's kind of uh, comparing it to Splatoon. I actually think that that is fairly warranted. It, it, it presented similar to Spl- Splatoon. Seems to be a team-based ninja type game uh, where you're trying. It's like a ninja beat 'em up style team-based online multiplayer. It looked interesting. I don't know too much about it, but um, it definitely did catch my eye. Yeah, and you can use yo-yos too. If I'm not mistaken, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because every ninja has yo-yos. I, I, I wish I had a yo-yo <laughs> right now. I, I remember doing tricks with those back in the day, but yeah, is it? And it's free to play, which is great. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. That's, so that's the best part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and oh goodness, how can we not forget about this one? Uh, I mean, Bioshock, um, Borderlands, XCOM, like the 2K games that are coming out on the Switch. I mean, I. I may not get them, 
uh, I, I have played two of the three, but uh, I, I think it's great that they're coming on the Switch, and for people who haven't played them, you should, especially Bioshock, because Bioshock 1 is the best FPS um, I've ever played in my life. And I, I oh, stand wow. by it, you know. Um, and, and you played Call of Duty games. I was going to say. Yeah, like, it's, we it's, <laughs> it's even, it, it, it actually is better. It's, it's like Call of Duty, but fun, good, has a story, <laughs> makes you want to cry sometimes. Um, uh, well, for some, okay, fine, for me too. Uh, and it, it just, it, it's, <laughs> it's nice. And um, it was way ahead of its time when it released back in, I think, 2007. Uh, and yeah, I, phew, I'm not gonna say anything more about it, but just take my word for it. Bioshock one, highly recommended. Like, please, like if you have any interest in FPS, like you have to play it. Okay. That's all I have to say. So yeah. Yeah. I was, I was interested to see all those games. Uh, I've never played any of them. So I don't know right offhand if they're um, going to be games that are my style. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to see, you know, mm-hmm. exactly how I feel about it. They're they're all coming out. They're all fairly expensive. They're coming out on the same day for some reason. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> I guess. At the end of May, which is also the same day that Xenoblade comes out. So, yes, yeah, sorry, 2K, but yeah. no. Um, <laughs> but, you know, 2K does clearance their games a lot. So uh, over time, you know, maybe maybe it's something, all three of them maybe are something that I, I, w- I would look into. But, um, yeah, I... It, this just throw this on the on the same train as you know i i just love seeing things come to switch yeah and it's it's i mean it's just reinforce the idea like every th- every game should be on switch <laughs> right, so, Agreed. i mean i, I wow <laughs> <Worth> it all <laughs> here I mean, here I, wow i actually you know what if this were four years ago, I wouldn't have said that. But you know what? I mean, with the Switch now and the way it is and how much I love it, like all of y'all, like I, I am convinced, man. I mean, I have been for a while, but every game has got to be on the Switch. Um, you hear it, Nintendo? Or you see me? You hear that, Sony? <laughs> I was going to say, Nintendo's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, we know. Uh, we're I, trying. I, 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 I derped there, but come on, Uncharted, please. Oh man! Never ever no. gonna happen, man, and you know it. It's no. not gonna happen. You know what? I'm not even trying to be mean. It's just like Sony's not gonna let that happen. They don't even like letting players play together. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is is that more likely to happen, or what about a game where you get to brew kombucha? Like, which one is more likely? <laughs> the the latter by far. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well. Well. You hear on Nintendo? I said it right. It's called Kombucha. Kombucha. Oh. It's it's Nintendo's next zany <laughs> physics game after uh, the stretchers and good job is a kombucha brewing game. Yeah. Oh. Book it. You, you know what? <laughs> Weirdly enough, that reminds me of Cookie Mama. Isn't that out today? I I heard that's out today. Uh, who this knows? Week. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like Schrodinger's game. Is it out? I don't know. So like some <laughs> some some people have downloaded it. Some people can't. I don't know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, there there you have it. But uh, I do want to mention one thing though. Uh, I mentioned I mentioned the first half of this name earlier today. The Legend of Heroes: Trails of Cold Steel Three. Um, you know, the, I now I played. 30 minutes of the first one. <laughs> I have not played the second one. Uh, but So I, I highly think... recommended, obviously. <laughs> highly recommended. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can tell that those 30 minutes were like your favorite minutes in gaming. So It's like how Shy Guy loves the pond in Breath of the Wild. You know, he played those 30 minutes. He got to the pond, he said. And he's like, yeah, this is my favorite part of the game. And yeah, I mean... No, I, I'm I'm just a little curious though. I don't know why they released the third part standalone. I mean, what about the first and mm-hmm. second? Like, what I mean, what what can you do? Like, is there like a way where you can, like, do they have like a video of it when you you know when you start the game? Like, maybe a summary. Like, how are they gonna like implement mm. players into it? I mean, you don't just like start the th- the, the third part right away. I mean, I'm curious absolutely. About uh, okay. I mean, Star Wars started with the fourth part, man. Just do it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I didn't even think about that. That was good. Okay. I think um, at this point, I, we've almost hit everything that uh, actually happened. 
Uh, Sergio, did you have anything else that you wanted to bring up for this? Very minor. There's going to be a new, or it could be a, I don't know if it's a remake or a new one, but it's a new Mr. Driller game coming out. And I don't play them, to be honest. They look cool. Like, I could try. It depends on the price. But let me tell you, the music in those games is amazing. So if anyone is interested in a puzzle game with amazing music, there you go. Uh, if anything, uh, a little bit of a, a sad note on the direct. Uh, we didn't get any updates on any Pooplers expansions or a season oh my, pass no, or anything. Yeah. No, 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 I no. guess, you know, I guess they're saving it for E3, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> wait, wait, but there's there's not an E3. <laughs> no, it's oh. it's Pooplers 2 Super Duper Pooplers. Book it right now. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want some Pooplers in my life. No, you don't. <laughs> Say that five times Nobody fast. Nobody does. Do it. No. Do oh. it. I want some Poopers in my life. I want some Poopers in my life. I will uh, not. Uh, so, Beck, was there anything else from this direct that you wanted to bring up? I actually have two, if nobody else does. Um, I was weirded out by Catherine Full Body. Seemed not Nintendo at all. Everyone yeah. is weirded out saying, by that game. I know that we're saying everything should come over to maybe Nintendo, Maybe not that. Maybe, yeah, maybe not. Should it? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I did play part of this game on the on the, on the the Sony platform. Uh, I've, How was it? Uh, well, I only played for 30 minutes, and... Oh, the so, best thirty minutes. Highly of recommended experience. again. Now, obviously. Now, now I did it, I did play the part where you are climbing uh puzzle blocks. Yeah, so you would mm-hmm. say it's roughly equivalent to uh <laughs> Trails of Cold Steel then, right? Yeah, well I would say it's pretty like, much the same game, I would it's, say. It's like Trails of Cold Steel but bad and terrible. You know, I mean I, I mean it's, <laughs> uh you know, I I get what they're trying to do, but I it like what Beck said, it does not feel Nintendo to me at all. Uh, but but it's nice for people who want to have that sort of like, is it a love? It's like a love square in this game. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, that game. I, <laughs> that game also kind of deals with some. Yeah, it it's not a no, it's not a good thing. Yeah, um, no, yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna. I, I'm just gonna move us. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Moving right yeah. along. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, so one other thing that Shadow dropped today was actually um, Panzer Dragoon uh, Remastered, which was the first Panzer, Panzer Dragoon game, I promise I can speak, that is pretty much, so if you are if you imagine a Star Fox game or Kid Icarus Uprising or uh, Sin uh-huh. and Punishment, but you're riding on a dragon, that's pretty much Panzer Dragoon. Um, mm. it's actually a cool, pretty game. Uh, I've only played a little bit of one in the past. I don't even know which one. Uh, but it, I, it raised my eyebrows. So that that gets a definite eyebrow raise, um, from me. And then finally, finally, the impossible has happened, guys. The the absolutely unthinkable has happened, and Electronic Arts is releasing a game on Nintendo Switch. What? <gasps> Whoa, that's what? right. And a non FIFA game, more or less. Oh, <laughs> and, and you know what? I mean, we, I, hopefully, I won't burn out from this one because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so Burnout Paradise Remastered, or Burnout. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, Burnout Paradise Remastered is coming to Switch, which I love the Burnout series um, from what I've played back on the GameCube the last time they were actually playable um, for Nintendo players. Um, I might be missing like one, but no. Um, I'm I'm actually glad to see this. Uh, I'm glad to see EA going. You know, let's try a game other than a bad FIFA port. <laughs> let's give them uh, a bad Burnout port. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't buy this, we won't release Mass Effect on Switch. Like what? Oh. Why? <laughs> oh, that would be amazing to release Mass Effect on Switch. But Burnout, yeah. though, this um, is the first step, guys. EA, man. Give us good FIFA. Come on, gosh. No, I... no, no. Give us freaking Madden. Give us NHL. Give us uh, anything else that you do other than the thing that you're contractually obligated to put on every console. Come on. At this point, it's True just petty. That. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like I, <laughs> I, I think EA's been kind of ridiculous about this whole thing, but whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. But I am happy to see Burnout coming. So I, 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 I did want to point that one out. Um. And that was pretty much it for the direct. Unless you guys have anything else, um, overall, really fun show. You know, I do have one more thing, and it, it was a good show, uh, by the way. But uh, King's Bounty Two, 
I don't know too much about it, but um, it it does look pretty intriguing. Uh, I do you have you guys played King's Bounty before? Nope. No. Nope. Well, there you have it. So I guess that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so that's less good than Trails of Cold Steel One. That's what we were all saying. Because collectively, we spent we played it for less than thirty minutes. We did. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, I never. Honestly, I never heard about this game until uh, it showed up today. It looks like a decent uh, tactics RPG. I don't. I can't really tell on those if they're going to yeah. be good or not. Like, how do you know. how do you show that kind of game? But eh, whatever. I don't know. It looks epic. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's well, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> and then before before Kevin just can't deal with it anymore. Um so he and I both picked up a game that released today. Uh, oddly enough did not show up on any indie direct or this direct, but it's still being pretty popular called uh One Step from Eden. Um, yes. Which, if you imagine Mega Man Battle Network meets Slay the Spire, you're very close to this game. Oh man, I my 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 hands are tingling. My my mind is ready. I just want to play this game, and you know, well, and, and and still take care of my villagers, but play this game and just have fun. And oh, I am so stoked! I've played like <laughs> ten minutes of the game so far because Jedi Academy took way more of my time than I expected it to this night, oh, uh, this evening. Man. Um. But so far, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> like, That's awesome. I was, I was, it's it's like one of those games that you kind of jump in. And you're like, okay, I have no idea what anything does, but I think I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> That's good to hear. That gives me more confidence to really. It's very fast. Game. Oh, I, I bet. Uh, yeah. That's I, I guess all I have. Um, or that's all we have. I think. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah great show um more of these please nintendo and uh, i guess like like i said i I guess the counter is still kind of ticking until an actual nintendo direct um which honestly if we get one before june at this point i'll be a little surprised i I think this was actually enough to get us to june so perfect you know just perfect and then you know blow us all away in june and you know we will have been playing animal crossing and um then xenoblade until then that's you know, it's it's not exactly a packed year, but it's not a bad one so far. So, excellent. I'll I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. And Nintendo, if you want to call these mini, but put out like four or six of these a year, that's fine. Go for it. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I don't have all that many complaints. The only thing I would have like I would have liked to see the arms character in Smash, but I get why they didn't. I would have liked uh, they're coming in June, so that yeah. that that's uh, another you know point of reference that yeah, there's probably something happening around E3. <laughs> yeah, um, mm-hmm. I would have liked to see whatever they're planning for the end of the year, whether that's you know the rumored you know new cart game or Breath of the Wild two or whatever's happening there. But you know, I can I can wait. You gave me enough, so perfect. Two thumbs up. Great job <laughs> from Sweet. Nintendo. <laughs> Sweet, nice. Well, I think that's gonna do it uh, for this week. So, Sergio, you got a couple questions though that we need to we need to wrap up. Yes, uh, last week we had our first multiple choice question, which was, if you got Animal Crossing New Horizons, what did you name your island and why? If you didn't get the game, if you had a deserted island all to yourself, what would you name it and why? We actually had a lot of answers, so we had to pick a few, and it was all from people that actually got the game. So Dragon said his island is named Emerald. No bias, obviously. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He says the answer is deeper than I want to share, but let's just say it's based on green being my favorite color. (gasps) Wait, his favorite color is green? Yeah, oh, that's right. Whoa, my favorite color is green too. Hey, (laughs) we all know that dragons like jewels. It just makes sense, you know, so that's fine. That's fine. (laughs) Great color, great choice. So it's a chaos emerald. Hmm. Ah, oh. <laughs> I can see so, that. <laughs> so, Doctor Fact said the name of my island is Callisto, named after one of Jupiter's moons. No reason behind the name other than Jupiter's moons are awesome. Nice. Swaddle said my island is named Azkaban, and I run it with an iron fist. <laughs> Swaddle, I still want to go. <laughs> Nice. And Ferraris Dragon said, My island is named Koholint. I've named my town Hyrule in every Animal Crossing game. Since this one is obviously on an island, I changed it to the island equivalent while keeping an homage to all my previous towns. That is so cool. 
That is cool. That's yeah. great. I like that. Yeah. No, I think it's great that you know everybody has their own like like reasons why they named an island. I mean, that's just gosh, just the simple things in this game just makes it so extravagant and so exquisite. I don't even know. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he couldn't join us today, but Shy Guy, or TJ, said that Shy Death named her island Lakeshore. And if he had one, he would name it Pi. It would be his Pi Land. And uh. he would terraform it into a perfect circle with the Pi symbol circumscribed in it. That is 235% Shy, and I love it. Yes. <laughs> Great number. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you guys? What is your island name? I went with uh, Stormhold. I love the movie Stardust with, um, gosh, Claire. No. Yeah. Claire What's Danes. Yeah. Claire Danes? Yeah, okay. Um, and it's on the other side of the wall. And it's a really cool fantasy place that exists just outside of this little English town. And I'm also a lightning fan. So. What are you gonna do? Oh, Perfect. nice. Go Tampa Bay. Nice. That's, that's the good old, uh, <laughs> good old double reference. Love it. Yeah, I, I like that name too. It's like it's like Stronghold, but but cooler. Like I, I yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty yeah, nice that's name. true. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, hasn't really rained on my island yet. So <laughs> go figure. Uh, well, uh, my my island name is uh, Minato or M I N A T O, and that is port in Japanese. Uh, mm. I, the the word port has been synonymous with some things in my life. Um, I live in Portland, in Oregon. I love the course port town from F Zero, and whenever I go to a port, it you know just anywhere, um, whether it's in a different country or even in the states, um, there's just something about you know looking. At the water or the the ships, it just feels really, it feels feels really therapeutic. And I want to have an island where, and hopefully this is the case in Animal Crossing, where I can have ships come in and there'll be more villagers to visit. And I want like four, I want four lighthouses, like in Golden Sun, um, or oh right, yeah, and. <laughs> A lighthouse would be great yeah, in this game. It, it would be, yeah. and I don't know if there if there are, but hopefully, you, you hear that, the, t- um, uh, the team who made the game, <laughs> <laughs> same team who made Splatoon two. You, you guys, you, you guys. guys, y'all know what I want. Please, I make think a they're still technically just Nintendo. <laughs> oh, okay, well, you heard that Nintendo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Please, yeah, like. and another port that you want is a port of Uncharted to the Switch. There you uh, go. <laughs> he needs to step away right now. In, in some evenings, he likes to sip on a nice port wine. I mean, yeah, it's... Just... Oh, <laughs> th- th- that word, it just makes me feel good. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm... That's it. <laughs> nice. So... My island name is Castaño, which is brown in Portuguese. It's also a shade of brown in Spanish. And it's also a chestnut tree. So I like all of those a lot. (laughs) Visit visit the island brown. (laughs) (laughs) Castaño sounds so much better than brown. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. uh, Like, bless bless our mother tongue, right, Sergio? (laughs) (laughs) It's not fair. It's just not fair. Sorry. Oh, okay. But <laughs> so not sorry. I don't have an island yet. Um so I haven't had to name it yet. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to give you guys two choices and this is going to go to our listeners oh. too and whatever people Ooh. want me to name it of these two choices, okay? Uh or if anybody nominates something better than these two choices, I'll consider it, but you know, good luck. <laughs> um all right. First of all, Windfall Island. So Windfall mm. Island from the Wind Waker, which is like the shop island. It's amazing. It's got some fantastic music. The Wind Waker is my favorite game ever made. So Windfall Island or St. Canard. So Canard is the French word for duck. It's also the home of Darkwing Duck in the cartoon. So there you go. Windfall Island or St. Canard. Mm. Man, those are really good choices. Some both good, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't... I mean, well... Wait, can we answer? Oh, no, now you can, or later? you can answer now, but I'm gonna leave it up to the Discord too. So, 
I gotta say, Saint Canard is my pick. Man, I I love the 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 reference Darwin Duck and all that. I mean, that's they're both really good. But I'm gonna go with Windfall. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> just keeping it Nintendo related, <laughs> keeping it island related for sure. I'm gonna say Windfall. Our dog's name is Medley. Come yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Although Saint Canard is really good. Discord. Too. I like. Go them both. nuts, man. <laughs> All right, Sergio, what's the question for this week? This week's weekly question of the week. Yes. Sweet. What is your favorite island, real or not? So, Windfall. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nice. Excellent question. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Excellent question. Um, nice. I think that's probably going to do us then. Yeah. So, thanks for listening, everyone. We're going to jump out of here. But you can keep the discussion going by chatting with us on our Discord group. The description for this episode has a link to our Discord if you would like to join. We are also on Twitter and on Instagram as Nintendo Jump, and we also have a Facebook group. Please send us any feedback you have at nintendojumppodcast at gmail.com. The best way to support this show is through our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash nintendojump, or by leaving a review for this show in your favorite podcast application. We would really appreciate it. This is Sergio, and on behalf of Daryl, and Kevin, and Beck, thanks for listening. We hope you have a great week. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. <laughs> I, I called that today like a low key top 10 video game song for me. Uh, oh, yeah. The theme from Arms for the Win. There you go. Oh, yes. That's appalling. Whatever. That's appalling. Oh, Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.